What's going on everyone, it's Rifle here, and thanks for checking out this Fallout 76 video. Recently, a lot of you may know that the real Sheep Squatch was implemented into the game. We also got a new event called Free Range, and from completing this event, we get some really unique rewards. We can find this in a couple different locations. Three areas that I know of is first off up here at Aaron Holt Homestead. It spawns somewhere around Gro's family cabin over there. Also, we could spot it out over at Big Fred's Barbecue. This seems to be the most well-known place to start this event because I always see players gathering around this area. And lastly, another area that I know of, there could be other areas that I could spawn at. I'm not for sure, this did just recently come out. But another area that I know that it can also spawn is over here in the Meyer region next to Southern Bell Motel. Now, this event is actually really creative. What you got to do is herd a pack of Brahmin, which makes it a little bit more difficult because, sure, you know, staying alive on your own can be kind of an easy task, but trying to make something else stay alive from hordes of enemies that attack it can be kind of tricky. And I heard, I don't know if it's true, but the less Brahmin that you have at the end of the event, the lower chances of you getting good plans. I don't know if that's true, I just always have heard that it's best to try to keep all the Brahmin alive because you'll be rewarded better. Anyway, speaking of completing this event, in case you don't know, at the end of it, we do face a Sheep Squatch, and sometimes even two of them, which in my opinion is always a great surprise, but maybe not to some other players. But anyways, once you complete this, you have a chance at getting rewarded some unique Sheep Squatch weapons, as well as a bunch of modifications for them. Now, to break this down, the four unique weapon plans that I know of that you can get from this event are, starting with the most common, I think, is the Shepherd's Crook. Now, this is what we use to herd the Brahmin back to the nearby farm for this event, but you can get it in different modifications, which I will be going over further in this video. Anyways, we can also get the Sheep Squatch Club. Looks pretty solid. I'm not going to lie, when I first saw the art to these weapons, I was blown away. They look extremely unique. But anyways, we can also get the Sheep Squatch Staff. You see what I'm saying? It definitely looks unique. This is personally my favorite out of them all just because it's a two-handed weapon. Now, up next is probably the most rarest drop out of all of these. We can be rewarded something called the Sheep Squatch Shard. I feel like a ninja using these. I'm not exactly sure what is the max damage with them either, but here is what I was rocking. And it also does bleed damage as well, which bleed makes your opponent do damage over time. Overall, this is a pretty unique replacement for a throwing knife. They're not that difficult to make either, as long as you're just grinding this event out and taking out the sheep squatches over and over and grabbing the mysterious quills off them, you should be able to get loaded with these after a while. And keep in mind, you can pick these back up from the target that you took out, or maybe from a wall that you threw it at. Overall, I thought this throwing weapon was really unique, and not to mention, it doesn't require that much to create. All it will need is one acid, two leather, one mysterious quill, and two steel. Now, like I mentioned before, there are loads of modification plans that you can get from this new free-ranged event. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Electrified Shepherd's Crook modification. As you can see, here is what that will look like. And this will require one adhesive, one aluminum, one circuitry, and one rubber. Next up I have for you the Horned Shepherd's Crook mod. As you can see here is what it will look like. And this will require two adhesive, three cloth, and one large sheep squatch horn. Next up is the Spiked Shepherd's Crook mod. And this will only require one adhesive and three steel. Next up here is the Tooth Shepherd's Crook mod. And this will require four mole rat teeth and one adhesive. Lastly up for the modifications, I have for you the Glass Covered Shepherd's Crook mod. Now this, is, now, this is all that I know you can get at the moment, but there may be more. Once again, this did just come out recently. Anyways, next up, I'm going to be going over these Sheep Squatch Club mods. Starting off with the Barbed Sheep Squatch, and this will require three adhesive, four copper, and four steel to make. Next up is the Burning Sheep Squatch Club mod, and this will require three adhesive, three asbestos, two circuitry, and four copper. Next up, I have for you the Heavy Sheep Squatch Club mod. As you can see, here is what it will look like. And this will require 3 adhesive, 5 concrete, 3 lead, and 15 steel to make. Next up is the Poisoned Sheep Squatch Club mod. This looks pretty gruesome. I mean, you can see like the worms on where the skull is. But yeah, anyways, this will require 5 acid, 
three adhesive, four copper, and four steel. Okay, so next up I have for you the Sheep Squatch Staff Mods. I have gotten loads of modifications for this weapon, and you can get this pretty powerful. As you can see, I got it up this high. And not to mention, you can get the Sheep Squatch Club strong too. So don't let people say that these weapons aren't powerful. You just have to have some decent perk cards equipped. And not to mention be using aids that will boost your melee damage. But yeah, anyways, as for the modifications that you can get for this Sheep Squatch staff, starting with the barbed one, as you can see, here's what it'll look like. And this will require three adhesive, four copper, and four steel. Next up, personally my favorite modification that you can get for this weapon is the Burning Barbed Sheep Squatch Staff Mod. And this will require three adhesive, three asbestos, two circuitry, four copper, and four steel. Next up, you can get just a regular Burning Sheep Squatch Staff Mod. As you can see, this is what it'll look like. Not too much of a difference. The Burning Barbed one does quite a bit more damage than this modification. Anyways, this will require three adhesive, three asbestos, two circuitry, and four copper to create. Next up, we can get the Electrified Sheep Squatch Staff Mod. As you can see, here's what that will look like. This looks freaking awesome. But yeah, this will require three adhesive, one aluminum, one circuitry, four copper, one rubber, and four steel. Once again, this looks awesome. Anyways, next up, we have the Heavy Sheep Squatch Staff. And this will require three adhesive, five concrete, three lead, and 15 steel. And lastly up on this list, we have the Poisoned Sheep Squatch Staff modification. And this, once again, looks gruesome. I mean, like you could see those worms and all that blood on the skull. It looks nasty. But yeah, this will require five acid, three adhesive, four copper, and four steel. So, yeah. That's all the modifications that I got so far and able to show off to you all. I have to say, I had major help from my buddies giving me the plans so that I could show these off to the community. I didn't get every single one of these. I had some major help from the team that I typically play with. Anyways, yeah, that's about wrapping up this video. I'm out of here, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. And if you found this enjoyable, consider leaving a like. That's always greatly appreciated. And hey, maybe if you want, give my channel a chance by subscribing. As always, that's totally up to you all. Until next time, though, peace.